Hey, Shug. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Thursday, April 25th, okay? This is for Thursday, April 25th. Now, if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it, all right? All right. So this week is giving the energy of someone doing what's best for them, okay? Um, maybe making those changes that they've been avoiding, okay? Leaving behind people and situations, memories, okay? They aren't serving them. All right. Let's see what we have for the collective today. For the collective spirit, thank you very, 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 very much. So very, very, very much. For these positive messages. For the collective. And we got it. <laughs> Positive, okay? Look how positive that looks. Woo! Two major iconics. The spirit all up in this, okay? With hope. I think that's the star energy, okay? But I'm going to clarify it. And patience on the bottom. I think this is like temperance, okay? All right. So you're getting what you want, star energy, because you've been so very patient. Who knows? I'm just going to clarify it. Read the message. All right. So, hope is number 17, just in case that means anything to you. But the message of the card says this. This is a card that focuses on the qualities of hope, faith, healing, aspirations, success, and finally, enlightenment. When this card appears, know that a special wish you've made may be filled, may be fulfilled in time. The hope card will help show you that the impossible can indeed become the possible. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible and a difference between success over failure and above all who we are is the power of your belief. This card serves as a reminder to use your natural ability of intuition, the language of your soul, as you reach your goals and desires. The future can be yours when you have hope and trust in everything that you do. Soon others will be attracted and drawn to your inner light. Learn to share your experiences and lessons, but those around you will also realize that by having faith and pushing forward where one may have felt no hope at all is the key to success. Above all, maintaining a positive attitude starting right now this very minute will allow your soul to soar. You'll discover an opportunity to shine as you reach for the stars. This is the star energy. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Let's see. <laughs> what message do I want to use? Message card. I'm going to use this one. Yeah. With hope here. It's like you're overcoming something and you're getting what you want. Okay, maybe you've been very patient, right? This is trusting and believing and following your intuition and just knowing it has to be better. It has to be better. Okay, yes. Why is hope here for the collective? Why is hope here for the collective? Yeah. And you pushing forward. Listen. Better off here. Happiness, perspective, clear headspace. Okay, that hope, that believing, that trusting, and listening to your intuition is bringing about this happiness for you. And with the upheaval card here, it says shock, the unexpected trouble. Okay, I feel like it's more of a shock. It's the, it's the tower moment. It's the tower energy. This can be for a masculine with the masculine on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that you might have been drift, drifting apart from, um, maybe because of anger. Okay, or maybe the masculine maybe you are a masculine who has like drifted apart from maybe like family friends you know whoever out of anger okay but this is you getting what you want okay this is hope this is happiness all right why is hope here for the collective yeah <laughs> can't make it up 
the Eight of Cups energy with the Two of Cups. All right. The Hierophant and the Sun, King of Cups, communicate. Okay. Okay. Someone is leaving something behind. This can be someone that's walking away from a union that they are currently in. Okay. Um, or someone choosing to leave behind the past so they can go into union. All right. With the higher energy on the bottom, this is someone um, that wants to be in something more solid. That wants like commitment. That wants like, you know, that's using, this can be also someone that is using their, you know, their intuition, their spiritual connection to God, their, you know, having that faith and that hope and, you know, if they're following that spiritual guidance and it's bringing about this happiness for them. Okay. Yeah. But with this King of Cups, this Page of Wands, and this Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, this is a masculine energy that's communicating to a feminine energy that they want a relationship. Okay. Now, this can be someone that is leaving behind past memories of a relationship so they can do this. Okay. Walking away from a relationship so they can do this. But it's someone who is making some changes. That's what this upheaval energy is. And it seems to be happening with the masculine. We saw the masculine energy. Right? Okay. Why is hope here? For the collective. King of Pentacles. I felt the energy. <laughs> yeah. The death card. Ooh-wee! With the devil on the bottom. The King of Pentacles, okay, is ending. Okay, this is that masculine energy. This masculine energy is making some changes, all right? This masculine energy is making some changes, but the devil energy is a transformation, okay? To what? This devil energy. This can be an unhealthy attachment. This can be unhealthy people. This can be unhealthy. This can be an addiction. I saw that energy um, one day as well this week. This can be um, a habit, okay? Um, this can be a lot, all right? <laughs> yeah. That might have been causing a lot of confusion, keeping someone stuck, okay? Could be in another relationship, okay? Someone is making some changes. They're communicating some things, saying some things, making some decisions that might not be received the best, okay? But it is someone that's doing what they feel like they is best for them. That was the energy yesterday, I believe. Okay? And this is because of patience. All right? Number 14. Mm -hmm. Which is the temperance energy. And it says, <clears throat> This card signifies the need for patience, self-control, adjustment, moderation, and balance when dealing with others as well as yourself. This card could be in the areas of how you think and work and how you handle school, recreation, and the people in your life or the spiritual path that's set before you. As a soul, you have one, I'm sorry, as a soul, you have more than one aspect of yourself to draw on for support. It's all about integration and learning to blend and balance both the physical and the spiritual. You're an ethereal being in a physical body, enjoying a human experience. Therefore, since you're both, you should honor all of you. If you go through life denying yourself the joy of combining these aspects, you're missing out on so much of what the world has to offer. Why accept life that's half-lived? The patience card reminds you to open your heart and mind and allow yourself to listen to others, other people's ideas, thoughts, and perspectives. Blissful harmony can be achieved when everyone learns to work as one. All benefit. Listening, sharing, and reaching out will help you renew your faith in yourself and humankind. You'll become more aware of the miracles around you as well as the ones that you have a hand in creating. Okay? All right. Let's get the message. 
Okay. Man, this I feel like this is someone like believing that there's gotta be better. <laughs> like, it's like it's gotta be better. Like, you know, this can't be life. Right? Yeah. And this is what what you know what creates change. Someone leaving behind a past, you know, a past memory, a past relationship, or a current one, you know, and just making some train changes in their life. Okay. Why is patience here for the collective? Okay. It says the chase, preparation, relentless pursuit, victory. Okay. So now someone is chasing. Okay. Spiritual connection, deep love, soulmates, unity. Okay. Yep. With established family, triumph, security. Okay. Bottom of the deck says trapped, stuck, tied down, captive, feminine energy, avoiding a new beginning. <laughs> Someone felt stuck or trapped by feminine energy and therefore avoided a new beginning. Okay. Seriously. So now with this energy, there's a chase towards this spiritual connection in family. Someone wanting to be more established. Okay. We already saw that right here when someone is like leaving behind a situation, leaving behind a connection, leaving behind the memories of a connection so they can have that new beginning that they want. That commitment. Happiness. That literally. This is the King of Pentacles that's making some dramatic changes with the death energy. Okay. Why is patience here? For the collective. Okay. It's like now there's a chase towards like this deep spiritual union. Family, security, feeling established. Yeah. The cherry energy. This movement. Okay. This movement forward. It's justice. Okay. This can be healing a connection. Bringing things back into balance. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Someone took some actions. This is someone looking back at the past and like they like, okay, I took some actions that I'm not proud of, okay? Um I suppressed my feelings, okay? I um didn't trust how I felt. I didn't, you know, do things the way I wanted to, okay, or the way I should have, okay? With the sun card and the hangman energy, okay, is someone like clearly saying, okay, this is what's been keeping things stuck for me. This is why things have not moved. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, with the five of wands energy. Okay. Yeah. So this is moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if someone had a chance to like really look at, um, you know, how they've been moving. All right. If someone is clearly seeing what the problem is. All right. And they're not happy, you know, with their actions. Okay. Yeah. Patience for the collective. Yeah, four swords. Okay. The four swords energy. The king of swords. The judgment. And the six of swords. The lovers. Temperance. Yeah. Someone is making this decision because they want to bring things back into balance. Um, when they look back at like their actions from the past. Okay, it's like, these are the actions I made, so these are the things I need to do in order to make them right. Okay, all right, so the someone is making some changes, okay, because they want to fix the outcome that was created from the actions that they made in the past. Okay, all right, so this is someone planning to communicate a decision, planning to make a decision, planning to be honest, planning to talk, planning to um, communicate something, okay, and this is a judgment to move on. Judgment and the Six of Swords, okay? A decision to move forward, okay? In a new direction. This is moving on. The energy from Monday, okay? Yeah. That's what I have for you, shit. It's self-explanatory, right? It really is. But it's bringing about happiness. Miss you guys already. Bye.